Welcome, dear creative. So I got this request to make this particular fascinator. Now that is what we'll be making, okay? So in this class, I will be listing the materials that you'll be needing. You need your Alice band, okay? You also need crinoline. I have um, three yards of this crinoline, the big size crinoline, as you can see. And then, of course, the Alice band I mentioned before. And then we have our felt cap. And then we have our face net okay and we also have some feathers just about three pieces of the feathers and you need your tape you i'm using three yards of the crinoline because that's what i have available you would actually need to get up to like four yards or three and a half yards then you need your scissors and then you need your needle and your thread matching color of thread okay now we will get started if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment section and i'll do my best to answer but just watch closely so i'll start by measuring out 32 inches from my crinoline okay and then i'm going to cut it out and i'll form my crinoline petal or crinoline rose okay i have a video on how to actually do that but um i'll still show that in this video you can also click on the link that is showing on your screen right now to see the other um to see the way i created that particular crinoline petal okay i think i did that over a year ago or more now i would start forming the petal i'll gather up the end you know crinoline frills if you've been watching my videos you know i've always mentioned that so we'll just use our thread and tie both ends of the crinoline so that it doesn't frill okay you can also use glue you can apply glue at the top but what i did at the very end of the fascinator i applied some glue you know to secure it apart from using my needle and my thread now i'm just going to go ahead to tie properly and i'll repeat the same thing on the other end of my crinoline and i'll start the proper process of making the fascinator so this um 32 inches that i cut out i'll be using it to form a bowl i have a video also on how to make a bowl without using your needle and your thread to sew and um you can click on the link showing on your screen right now to watch that but i'll still show how to make a bowl here keep watching and learning remember to practicalize
Next, I'm going to measure out 30 inches of my big size crinoline into two places and then I'll cut. I'll be showing you what I'll form from it, the petal.
so you can see how I secured it. The next thing I'm going to do now, I made two of it. Remember, I said I was going to cut my crinoline um, into two places, the 30 inches. So I made two petals, right? The same way I made this one was um, how I made the second one. Now I'll be attaching it onto my bow, my crinoline bow. Okay. Now this step, you can. I will later put in my net and all of that, but you can put in your net at this stage before you attach your petals or your roses, your premium roses or petals or meat. Okay? If you have watched up till this point, I believe you have gotten value so far. Please subscribe to my channel and click on my notification bell so you will not miss out on my weekly DIY videos that I drop every Wednesday by 3 pm. Please feel free to also share the video, like, comment, you know, so that more people will learn how to make fascinators so that it will, um, the algorithm will push it to more people. Okay? Thank you. And if you know you have any question, do well to ask in the comment section. If you have any particular design in mind that you want me to recreate, just contact me. My number is on the screen, on your screen, okay? And um, for those that it is their first time of stopping by, I want to welcome you. Thank you so much for stopping by. And for those that are coming back, my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. So using my needle and my thread, as you can see, I'm just properly attaching my petals, crinoline petals on the on the on the crinoline bow. Now I'm going to take this crinoline petals and bow combination and attach it on my felt cap. Watch how I'm going to achieve this. The inside has to be very neat, especially. Then of course the top, the front should be neat too. But watch how I'm doing my stitches. And you will understand. So keep watching and learning. Remember to practicalize.
so next i'll be attaching my um face net or it is also called bed cage veil right bed cage veil net whichever one you want to call it and the size of this one that i'm holding is seven inches while the size of this one is 12 inches length of the big size bed cage net or bed cage veil net or face net now i'm going to um gather the center of this big size net okay more like i'm trying to form a bow and i will use my thread to tie it you can also use your needle to do um to sew it together i have a video on how to do that using your needle and your thread and you can watch that by clicking on the link that is showing on your screen right now but in this particular um fascinator crinoline fascinator i'm going to just use my thread because at the end of the day i'll still secure it with my needle when i'm attaching it onto the fascinator so just keep watching and learning remember to practicalize Next, I'll take the seven inches face net and then I'm going to just gather one end of the face net together and use my thread to also tie it. Then I'll attach it on my fascinator. Okay, keep watching and learning. Remember to practicalize.
so next i'll be attaching my feathers watch how i'm going to arrange the feathers then use my thread to tie them together before i attach on my fascinator So the portion of my crinoline that is left from the three yards, I'll be using it to um, form another design and add on my fascinator. Please feel free, like I said in the beginning, you should get more than three yards. You can get three and a half yards such that the, the design that I'm doing now, you would use a bigger size to do that. You use up to half of your bow um, size such that you'll be using up to 15 inches or 16 inches to achieve exactly what i'm achieving now okay
so next i'll be attaching my alice band on my fascinator i'll do that neatly watch how i'm going to achieve that So now my alice band is firmly attached on my fascinator i'll just cover up this part of my alice band that has the thread and then that will be all our beautiful fascinator is ready mm -hmm. 